Section 3.4, homework problem number 7. So here we're going to see how to add mixed numbers in two different ways. So again, make sure you do two different ways. And when we have mixed numbers, uh, we know the whole number just uh, rents the, the whole parts, how many whole parts we have. So one of the ways we could do is we can just add the whole parts and the whole parts. And again, three and a half um, literally means three plus and a half. So if you use the pictures, so that's three holes. Um, well, I should draw one more. They should be all the same size. It'll be a little bit off. So you have one, two, and three and a half. So it's literally one, two, three and a half. And then you have four fifths. And then you also have four parts here. One, two, three, and four parts. So and the, the last one is uh, three fifths. So you can actually add these whole parts together. See, we have three whole parts plus four whole parts. You just we just add them together. Uh, of course, you don't have to use the picture to demonstrate demonstrate, but you know, this is how how why why it works. Why can we split it? Because uh, it literally means you have a three and plus and a, a half here. This literally means four and plus a three fifth here. Okay, so we have three plus four, which gives us seven seven whole parts. Now let's add the fraction parts and one half and uh, three fifths. For that, we have to do what we learned in this section because um, now they have different sizes. One part of size one half, three parts out of uh, a size one fifth, they cannot be added. So now uh, if we found two and five, and the common denominator is 10 because we can multiply two by five and five by two to get the common number 10. So we're gonna, that's what we did here. For the first fraction, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5. For the second fraction, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. So now we turn them both into the common denominator 10, which means 5 parts of size 1 tenth, 6 parts size 1 tenth. That gives us 11 parts of size 1 tenth. And now we have 7 whole parts and 11 tenth. And notice the 11 tenth can be converted to a um, Mixed number, which is one the tenth, because the ten, the ten tenths, eleven tenths is ten tenths plus one tenth, and ten tenth that's exactly the number one here. So seven plus one gives us eight holes plus a tenth. So that's one one way to do to separate the whole parts and the um, fractional parts and add them. Uh, whole parts and whole parts, fraction parts and fractional parts, and then combine them together. Now the second way is we could turn both mixed numbers into improper, which we already learned how to do. So we got seven halves for three half, three halves. So you do three. The seven comes from multiply the whole number and the denominator because each whole. Each of the three holes becomes two parts. So you're going to have three times two, this many parts, plus the one part that gives us, gives us the seven parts of so size one half. And for that 23, we each of the whole becomes five parts. So we're going to do five times four, four times five, or five times four, plus the three parts. So that gives us uh, 23 of uh, fifth. Now, when we have two fractions, we can now add these two fractions change them to the same denominator exact the same way as we did right here so we multiply the first one by five the second one by two both the numerators and denominators and then we turn it into 35 parts of size one tenth and the 46 parts of size one tenth we can add the number of parts together to get 81 parts of size one tenth and then convert this to uh, improper um, a mixed number and to do that, you could do 81 divided by 10 to get 8 um, tenths. So we have, because the reason we do that is out of the 81 parts, every 10 parts become a one, become a one whole. So we have 8 10 parts in there. So that gives us 8 holes. And there's one part left, which cannot be turned into a hole. So you just ha has that little part has size one tenth.